Hello Gundam fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 10144 high grade Gundam F91 Harrison Custom. Even though it doesn't seem to say it anywhere in the box, it is the Harrison Custom, so it's nice dark blue. Um, it's the same model as the original, but quite a few more stickers. You still have the forehead camera, the eyes, back of the head, uh, the F91, which is uh, white this time, all the little triangles, and all the other, aside from the feet, are stickers. So quite a few to make this guy look accurate. Which is a little annoying, uh, especially the ones on the Vespers, because there's like, they have to fold over, and it's, it doesn't look that good. But it's still a nice, uh, kind of unique construction in like the torso. It looks good. It's pretty solid. It's just as good as the original, just a lot more stickers. Now the head goes up and down, forward and back, rotates, arms go forward, rotate, go out, rotate below the shoulder, double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist, ball jointed stomach and waist, ball jointed front skirts, hinged side skirts, legs will do the jiggy jig jig, go forward, a little back, out, rotate at the hip, double jointed knee, you got the hinge at the top of the ankle, and then the ball joint for the foot, and the ball joint at the back of the ankle guard. So it's still as good, of course, as the original. You can get a lot of poses with this little kit. They were able to include any joint you can really think of from other models in a pretty small package, and it looks very good while doing it. So except, uh, articulation is very good. So the kit comes with two beam saber handles and the uh, clear green for the beams, which it can hold very easily. Can't be stored, but that's kind of to be expected in such a small kit. It has the beam shield with the extra connector, so it looks like it's extended. You just have to take off the stored one. And then plug this one into the lower hole, like that. Nice clear green still, there's nice detail in it. And we've got the beam rifle. Now that's interesting about this, is the uh, the handle I didn't think could move, but someone mentioned in the other review that you, it actually does. It's, actually, it's molded to be separated, you can actually cut it and the hinge is molded into the blue, so once you have it all together, you have a hinge, which is pretty nice. I like that. It would make sense. It is pretty small. Uh, sticker for the scope. I have the trigger finger hand on it, and it's very easy to switch. also have the bazooka, which has the other trigger finger hand on it, and it has a movable handle. Some gray uh, pieces on it. Sticker. And it fits very comfortably into the hand because of that handle. And it goes over the shoulder. Now, the same thing as the original. You have to pull off the panel here and replace it with this adapter. And then reattach the cover so you can peg it in, which is still annoying. However, you don't have to use the cover, uh, the adapter. It'll actually peg into the hole and stay there. It's actually more secure without the adapter. But then you don't have the little uh, cover, so it's not accurate. And if you don't care, it really doesn't matter. They've also got the Vespers, which move on the hinge on the torso. It can go in and out and rotate from side to side. You can extend them. And they have the extra handle. And just like before, the hands... I don't know why I never noticed that, that the ball joints are getting a little lower on the uh, hand. But it definitely helps for these kind of weapons, which don't give you a lot of clearance. And you can very easily have the F91 hold them at the side. It's just, it's very natural looking. I really do like that. It's very cool. Yeah, let's see if I can get his hand part. Come on, get off. Get off there. 
So aside from that, we have the little transformation that has the little panels on the back of the legs. You can open up, which is nice. And it's a good thing they have a little teeny tab right there so you can get the bottom one out. You can switch up the little teeny uh, fins for the extended ones. <clears throat> Just means you're going to have to keep track of those little ones, which, yeah, they can, they're easily lost. I haven't lost them yet, but I've come close. And then just pull off the helmet, pull the face forward, bring in the other one, which, let's just take a look at that, because they are, uh, different colors. And I like the fact that they even have, like, a little camera molded in there, under the top of the head. It's kind of neat. And just place that into the ball joint, and there. The high mobility mode, or whatever you want to call it, is done. So that's the accessories. Um, just as good as the original. And before I forget, you do have a few extra pieces because you have the two colors of plates. So if you want to give this guy red feet, or if you want to make everything yellow, like the chin, forehead, the crotch jewel, you can do it. So there's a little bit of a customizing you can do there if you don't paint. So the accessories are just as good, and they're still very nice. So, obviously, I have to compare this guy to the original, which they did come out at the same time. So, just the difference of uh, the colors and the stickers. And here's the victory, if they can stand up to it. And how about the wing Gundam, which is smaller than a normal size mobile suit, like the Gundam, the original, but still taller than these guys. So that is the F91 Harrison Custom. It all comes down to which color you like better, and if you don't mind the stickers. If you paint, it really doesn't matter. Although this one might be a little easier to work with because red is hard to paint, and so you might have an easier job with the yellow. Eh, it doesn't really matter. But they're still, they're both good kits. They do exactly the same thing, and they do it very, very well in a small package. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.